Hi there. Now we're on to tip number three in the, in this series, guiding you how to play better sax solos. Now, I'm going to start encouraging you to really use your imaginations now. Um, get a bit poetic. And what we're trying to get to is just imaginative and more thorough ways to practice solo, which you can do, not just shut your eyes and go for it, although that's great too. So today we're going to just put ourselves into a role. And first of all, the role is that of a sad, down, reflective, poignant person. Something maybe bad has happened. Um, put yourself into that mood. So we're just going to be as kind of soulful and moody and sad and blue and down as we can and reflect that in our playing. We're back again with our track in C7. So I'm going to start on tenor, so I'm in I'm in D7 if if that's useful for you. So I'll just dive straight in. I don't know. Did you believe me? Um, what what I find when I do this exercise is that I just tend towards the the flattened notes, the flattened third. Although the guy on the piano there is playing the major third, I'll flatten third ah! instead of ah. That's uh, that's the F natural on the tenor. I go for that, and I go for the flat fifth, and and the ninths. Da, or that, that's uh, an E, that's the second degree of the scale, if that helps. But um, just those notes kind of just stick out and they just sound like a bit more sad and blue. Right, let's switch to the alto. Second half of this exercise, you, you've probably beat me to it. We're going to be as happy and chirpy and optimistic and bouncy as we possibly can. And... So let's see see where that takes me. Um, I'm on the alto, so I'm in A7 this time. Here we go. <laughs> Did I have you convinced? I don't know. You let me know. So I found then that I was predictably going for the major third. Da, oh, that's a C sharp on the alto. And now I think about it, I was playing a little bit faster, I guess. It's more sort of um, d doubling up a little bit more. And I noticed thinking about it that you know, I played some very predictable, just chords just going up and down the seventh chord um, I may be a little bit of uh, syncopation as well da, 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 da. some little turns I don't know if I did him but that that would spring to mind so uh, well I'll give it a go please give it a go I'm on the uh, Yanagasawa saxes Diodario reeds um, and the backing track is available now. You can download it for free at snakedavis.rocks. There's a page called Student Resources. 
So have fun. Let me know how you get on. Bye.